Hi there everyone, Alt Anime Fan here, and um, a video, yes, after so long, I am making another video, because this article right here from One Angry Gamer made me want to make the video. Make a video. Goblin Slayer, completely absent from Crunchyroll Anime Awards nominations. Alright, that sentence just strikes me as odd. One, I don't really follow the U.S. anime industry all that much, only to point and laugh at them. But when it comes to this and Crunchyroll snubbing Goblin Slayer, I wonder why. Remember, these are the same people who are making High Guardian SJW. So, of course, one of the most badass animes of 2018, right behind Hug Precure, uh, gets snubbed. And I've already looked at the article. If you want to watch videos of people who will explain how great, uh, who will explain this much better, there are more, there are more, there are much better videos to watch than mine. I'm just going to be bitching about certain things when it comes to this. Yes, of course, Goblin Slayer got snubbed. It triggered the fuck out of so many people last year. I mean, it was so much fucking controversy for one minor little scene. And let me tell you one thing: for people who have read the manga. Especially for my friends who have read the light novel. Those are more graphic than the anime ever dreamed to be. The anime was Goblin Slayer Diet Coke compared to the light novel and manga. Diet fucking Coke. Alright? Imagine if they had seen this before. Or if the anime had decided to 100% adapt the manga. Oh my god. Or the light novel. Their heads would fucking explode. Yeah. So of course, it gets snubbed. But also in the same thing, why do we have an anime awards? I mean, it's just as dumb as having the fucking normal award shows. It's just a big pat on the back. I mean, I already looked at the nominees. A lot of them were shit that nobody fucking cared about. And of course, Goblin Slayer got snubbed. Because they hated it. They hated Goblin Slayer. Oh, God, there was another thing that triggered them, like, just right after Goblin Slayer. Oh, freaking, and that one thing with, the, and Shield Hero, the false rape accusations. That triggered the fuck out of them, too, because, of course, there can be no false rape allegations, because that just can't be a thing. It, it goes to show what I've been saying for a long time. The English anime community, like, uh, the, a lot of the YouTube personalities, especially the people who work in dubbing and things like that, a lot of them, of course, lean very, very, very left. Now, anime, as itself, is a massive, has a huge broad spectrum of people it could, uh, people it could appeal to. It could appeal to hardcore right-wing douchebags like myself and fucking liberal snowflakes. I mean, I, I, it can, you know? I mean, God forbid the liberal snowflakes drift into our end of anime for a while. Every time they do, they get triggered and run away screaming, Tanya the Evil... Goblin Slayer, of course, coming out, I believe, end of this year. We have Contact Collection Season 2, which that's apparently some right-wing masturbation fest, according to some of my friends. But yeah, Goblin Slayer gets snubbed. Let's see the people who snubbed it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Are these the nominees? Play the nominations. All this is closed. I'm surprised this got nominated. It's a fan service fest with gambling. Eh. 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 Let's see. Can I see the judges? Judges. There we go. Oh. Yeah. This is actually starting to make sense. Look at these people. Of course these are the people who would... Whoa, 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 Sir, you cannot dress as that character. It is triggering. For those of y'all who don't know, this man right here is dressed as Cobra, one of the most alpha fucking males from 80s anime. He had an anime, Space Adventure Cobra or Space Pirate Cobra. Let me just say this about Cobra. Cobra slayed more thoughts than any other anime dude. He killed tons of thoughts. Bitches were dropping dead left and right in that show. And every woman in that show was scantily clad and incredibly sexy. Even his robot assistant is incredibly sexy. 
So how dare he dress as such a triggering, rape culture producing character as Cobra. Dear God. Dear God. I am going to do a review on Cobra, I think. Because so, it's not a very well-known one outside certain circles. But anyways, let's get back to this. I'm not going to read the article, like I said, because other people have. Uh, you see, I love the fact... I've avoided English anime for so long that whenever something like this pops up, like when High Guardian Spice pops up, and yada yada, I forget the fact that SJWs took over the anime community. We spent the mid-2000s and whatnot making fun of the Tumblr weebs and the anime weebs. Well, guess what? Those motherfuckers went, learned Japanese and whatnot, and now, unfortunately, are running the Western side of the industry, which is why we get shit like the Kobayashi made Dragon dub or that fucking thing in prison school. Yeah, I know the companies told them to knock it the fuck off, but still, this is what happens. The anime industry was lost, the Western anime industry was lost to SJWs before the battle even begun. Now, in the early 2000s, it was a bit different. I was born in 1980, so I'm a little bit older than uh, the average anime fan who probably is subscribed to me. And when I, was, uh, when I was graduated from high school and I was slumming about looking for a job, uh, there was, when I was slumming about looking for a job, then I joined the Marine Corps. <laughs> uh, but anyways, there was this magazine out called An America. And An America had An America, and then it had its manga version, which was fantastic because it actually let you read because uh, eventually they switched it to reading the correct way. But anyways, An America, in their magazine, had a rating system where it would rate the animes, and it would tell you what was in the anime. It literally had a column for panty shots. So if you wanted to know if the anime you wanted to watch had panty shots, it told you. God damn, that was a better time. Nowadays, you'll hear article after article about how panty shots are bad, fan service is bad, fan service destroys anime, and you motherfuckers fucking keyboard and fucking warriors on the other side, because my side has them too, talking about how fan service is degrading, how, oh, this anime was great, but oh, the out of place fan service was just jarring. It jarred me. Oh, I'm so jarred. I literally talked to somebody who, when they were watching that compulsive gambling anime, they could not understand why the ending theme showed her wet, showed her bra, and gave you panty shots of her, finally. I mean, hard to see panty shots, but panty shots nonetheless. This is because that's what fans wanted to see. They give it to you sparingly. They know how to control their fan service. They know how to control it. Thankfully, though, when it comes to anime, because the battle for anime has been lost for years. It's been lost. Thankfully, we can circumvent fucking Crunchyroll and Funimation and all these other companies and just go straight to the source. We can watch straight at the source. We don't need to worry about any of this other crap or shit. And that's good. I mean, for now we can. I don't think SJW is going to take over the anime industry in Japan anytime soon. But you never know. You never fucking know. So, if you were surprised by this, Goblin Slayer getting snubbed, I don't know why. Why you'd be surprised. Anyone who's an anime fan who's paid attention knows that the community has been lost for a long time. I mean, let's look at the, uh, let's look at its ratings here. See, uh, okay. Ooh, 219. Where are you, Goblin Slayer? I actually have to watch that one. I, I'm, I'm gonna actually watch that one. Let's see. Average rating. Yeah. Goblin Slayer was fucking great. I mean, it was a little bit slow in pacing, but I really enjoyed it. It does not surprise me it got snubbed. We're going to be seeing this a lot more because these motherfuckers are going to try to do everything they can to ruin the Western anime industry more than it already is ruined. I mean, these are the same motherfuckers who said that Dragon Ball Brawly was fucking sexist. I don't know how it could have been sexist, but, you know, these people make no sense. Anyways... If this snubbing surprised you, I don't know why it would. Have you been living in a closet? Western anime industry is lost. Watch subs. Don't even bother with dubs. Or if anything, let's let's see if we can let's see if people can get a legitimate fan dubbing industry going. Oh well, fan dubs. Let's see if people can get legitimate fan dubs going. Groups of people get together and and fucking make good fan dubs. And I'm not talking about fucking abridged abridged shows. A good 
decent fan dub. Hell, thankfully, most of the animes I watch aren't even licensed in the U.S., so I didn't have to worry about Synchrona Gear being fucking butchered by these people. Anyways, this one's been real ranty. Like I say at the end of all my videos, I'm gonna try to start making more videos, and and I am, I am gonna try to I am gonna try to start making more videos. My next video is actually gonna be about a topic that most of y'all won't give a shit about. I'm gonna talk about my favorite see uh, my favorite uh, Japanese voice actresses or seriyus, and kind of talk about the goings on and some of the major dramas that happened in that industry over the past couple of years, huge upsets and whatnot. Anyways, this is Alt Anime Fan saying.